28, sorry, that's my chair, <laughs> 28 of 31 Days of Beauty. Um, I came downstairs to flip over laundry and I actually still had a half hour on the dryer. So I'm like, I had the, you know, camera in my, or the camera, the phone in my pocket. I was like, let's just film while we're sitting down here waiting on the stuff to dry. So I'm going to show you a little Ulta haul I did. I scored a bunch of points on this because it was um, like five times points on fragrance. And then you still got like 20% off and all this. But on this order alone, I scored over 1,100 points, which is a good deal. Hello, Miss Granny, Miss Caitlin, and Miss Nix. How are you, ladies? I better change my chat settings in case Miss Laura jumps in and yells at me. <laughs> did I do it? Where'd they go? Oh, no, I lost everybody. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> Caitlin did a haul, too. She did some perfumes. I did, too, girl. Couple. <laughs> I believe I already showed you this. This is what I grabbed Greg for Christmas. Uh, the Spice Bomb Infrared by Victor and Rolf. One that looks like a hand grenade, basically. <laughs> and it is cute. Like I said, it has, like, the little pull pin and... Nice, and he likes it, and so far I like it on him. It's not Savage, but hey, nothing is Savage at this point in time. But that was little Greggy's Christmas gift, and I'll never get that back in the box at this point. All right. <clears throat> I do love uh, dry oil sprays. Like I, I explained before, Greg can't stand putting lotion on my back. And when I was at my mother's yesterday, she was like, oh my God, could you put lotion on my back? She's like, that's one thing I miss about you know, my stepdad was being able to lotion her back. So I told her, Mom, I have a cure, and I'm going to get her one. So I did an Ulta order today. I picked up the J.R. Watkins. Now, the one I picked was called Awaken Body Oil Mist. And this one's Rosemary and Sandalwood. This one here. So I grabbed her a different one that had a different scent. So I'm just going to, when that comes in, I'm going to bring her over both bottles and go, which one you want? Because it's a lot easier with a dry oil spray just to spray your back, you know, Certain things you can't do alone. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I have glasses? Yes. Oh, God. <clears throat> I've been looking at this fragrance, and then when they did the thing at Ulta, I'm like, you know what? With the extra 20% and all that, let's try it. I've been eyeing the Jimmy Choo I Want To full-size perfume. So I got the little um spray instead. It is nice, and eventually, I will get the big one. <laughs> but I figured, ah, eh, try the rollerball, you know, get the 20% off and the points. And I know Caitlin scored over 2,000 points, and I did like 1,100. Uh, what else did I grab here? Uh, ABH, Fuller Looking and Sculpted Lip Duo. I think I've already bought one of these. This one I bought in T. It's in T's and Baby Roses. I didn't even open this. <laughs> Shit, that's a. Oh, okay, it is peachy. It, it's it's there. It's peachy. Looks like concealer. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be wearing. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I'll see if mom wants it or something. That's definitely not my shade. I tried. I tried. This was in the clearance section. I just had grabbed it to grab it. Uh, from Revolution. I didn't know they have perfumes now. This is the School for Good and Evil. Eau de Toilette. I get that. It's the name. I guess it's just the School for Good and... Okay, so it comes in this big-ass box. But cute little bottle. It says the for the school of good and evil, and then it has like a little rose kind of pendant. And you can't take this off. It has one of those where you can, I mean, it'll pop right off if you just open it up. But cute. I think this was like $9 in the clearance section. But what the hell? And it smells all right. I'll have to try it a few more times. I've gotten a little bit of perfumes in, so I'm a little overwhelmed. Just another random fucking buy. Ulta Beauty Cosmically Cozy 3-Piece Candle Set. I'm telling you, sometimes I just... 
crack and buy random crap. Uh, sugar cookie, winter pine, and twilight snow. I don't need any candles, but shit happens. <laughs> yeah, you bought four perfumes. I bought one, two, three. <laughs> but the, you got to figure the Makeup Revolution was cheap. And even the Jimmy Choo, maybe, what, 30 bucks? Miss Teresa's in the house. And then, luckily, I was like, I didn't know, you can never fail with Miss Gina if she was going to get me this or not. So that's why I waited. <laughs> I actually held back this order because I go, oh, if she got me this, I don't want her to feel bad. <laughs> so luckily, she didn't, get, she got the Gucci instead. So, yeah, but this is kick-ass. This is tart. Uh, precious Gems. Trust me, I was outside trying to photograph this bitch a little while ago. She's so reflective. But in here you do have Park Avenue Princess bronzer at the end. And then these are all blushes. Let me do some swatches. Now I already got pictures. I do love tart blushes. As you've seen, I've showed you multiple Z palettes filled with them. Oh, <clears throat> Okay, those are out of order. <laughs> this is what I get for coming out here and not being prepared. You can see my hair is all a fucking mess. And just like, ah, screw it. You're downstairs. Wait for that laundry to dry. Okay. But I do love these tart palettes. I think I buy them almost every year regardless. <laughs> there. But fun packaging on this one, as you can see, with all the little facets on it. I do do that. All right. I think that was everything. Yeah. That was the little haul. And while I'm sitting here, I'm going to put on some damn makeup because I might as well look fine while I'm doing laundry all day. <laughs> oh, good girl. Got her shot. Little ice pack, Teresa, or if you have those little um, lidocaine patches, just put a lidocaine patch here, you'll be fine. And I figure, what the hell, we got the tart palette here that Miss Gina gave me, so we'll play with this too. And the blue mascara, and I'm just going to fuck around with shit that's just sitting here. I should probably, I don't want the box. <laughs> Hold on, wait, wait. Okay, not prepared to move the box out of my way, like a dumbass. Move the box to go right upstairs. How's everybody's day going so far? Good, I hope. Some of this out of here so we can have a little room here to play with the goodies. There we go. Alright. I already have skincare, all that shit on. <laughs> that that's a whether I'm going out or not. Just for ha-has, I'm going to show you how this glowish looks just on its own. And I ordered another one of these, too. <laughs> you girls got me last night. I did a fucking Ulta order. It was up to, like, $136, and I go, you know what? I'm going to make this fucker basically free, because I was up to over $400 in Ulta money. So I used $125. I think I paid $16 on a pocket, and... It, let's just say it's a, a lavender haul. Everything was like lavender. It was interesting. Hello, Pyramid. Oh, Caitlin just went nuts at Bath and Body Works. <laughs> and since Sephora was doing their sale on sale, yeah, I grabbed three items, I think. I only spent like 50 bucks. So I'm just going to put the regular glowish on. The, I bought... A shade, two shades up, because this is shade medium, which is overall kind of fine. But I figured, fuck it, I'll grab the shade 7, so it has a little deeper to it. Because, like I said, I'm going to mix them with the foundations anyway. But we're just going to use this on its own, and you'll see how I look like a fucking lunatic. It, it You just it's fucking glow. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is going on over here. I got these two red marks. Look like I've been bitten by a fucking vampire. Going, interesting. They've been there for a couple days. I'm like, oh, what the fuck those are from. Greg don't have fangs. 
get those off my finger. <sighs> Products like this I usually do with my hands. Oh, do I want to brush? Because oh. tinted moisturizer, it's usually going to, this is a motor brush. Sometimes it gets sucked right into the brush. things are. Greg's out snowmobile though, no, having a good old time. God, I'm getting a massage. I gotta figure out what time my massage is on Friday because I want to get a haircut too. I was gonna dye my hair today then I'm like I really want to get a haircut first. You, 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 I, you, to me I look like crazy. <laughs> See, the brush absorbs a lot of water. My face just feels sticky. Ugh. Take off my eyeballs, too. I'm going to put on one of those lip plumper things. I'm going to put on the icy one. Anything that's like light, like a light lip balm, anything that has a blue tint to it will make your teeth look whiter. Just so you know. And this one does get, you know, tingly. I'm not doing eyebrows. I'm just going to run through them here. All right. All right, primer. This will work. Uh, believe beauty. Well, it goes a long way with this one. Oh my God, I look ridiculous. <laughs> to me, I'm just like shiny. <laughs> I'm shinier than a Christmas ornament. Yeah, it definitely stays tacky. That's why I do like mixing it with that matte foundation because it definitely takes it down because it'll just pick right back up on your hands. Just wiping a little spout off. What am I missing? What am I missing? Yay, Teresa got a gift card. The sponge would absorb it too. Oh, I, I'll definitely probably end up putting some type of powder, but I just wanted to show you of it does stay glowy, like really glowy. Like to me, I look. If I went outside like this, I well, I will go outside later. Just look at. Fuck, I didn't even check to see if there was mail yesterday. I should probably do that. Oh, yeah. It just. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do a little. Tart blush. Do I have another bronzer in here? No. I did a glowish one yesterday. Yes, I'm dropping everything. I'll just use the Park Avenue Princess in here. Let's see how this goes on with. This Park Avenue Princess doesn't seem to be the right. It seems lighter. It doesn't look. Park Avenue Prince. Maybe I, maybe this is the glowy shade. That's why I think mine are. I tend to buy the matte ones. It's just kind of sticking there, which happens with cream products. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Just makeup, and I'm not gonna go anywhere. I have nobody to scare today. Got some blemish action going here. I hit it with tea tree oil earlier. When you wake up with that, I go, where the fuck did you come from? <laughs> I don't have any other weird old oh, I do have the Huda blushes. Let's try one of these. I 
I got three of them here. Oh, let's go dark or go home, right? You know, I gotta see what this looks like. Sometimes these look scarier than they are. Yeah, that's definitely looks scary. It's not scary. Where's that weird old blush? Let's see if this works over a tinted moisturizer. Hold on. We got this in one of our boxes, this Euphoria. This is one of those pH blushes. So when Greg and I were down here, he was doing the plumbing and I was fucking around down here cleaning it up. I was saying I didn't have any makeup on. So I go, oh, let me do this. And I tapped it on and holy shit. Yeah, on bare skin, this worked. Let's see if it works on this. Because it's just a regular... Here, I'll do a dot on my hand. So on my hand, it's right here. I'll dip it again just in case. Because it's a real liquidy kind of formula. So let's, let's hope it changes over the... Oh, yeah. See? <laughs> Holy shit. Bright, goddamn pink. Bright. So that shows the skin on your hand is different than the skin on your damn face. That's for sure. See that. And since it is kind of liquidy, it does stay tacky again. Let's see if I. Oh, okay. There's the pink. If you start, maybe the warmth of your fingers gets it going. But I got to say, when I went to take everything off that night, it did not stain my cheek. Because with these kind of weird stains, you never know, like, oh my God, am I going to have a pink cheek stuck there like that forever? But, so it works over a tinted moisturizer. <laughs> Which I don't see why it wouldn't. Over a foundation, I don't know. I have no idea, and I don't want to waste my foundation to find out. <laughs> but you can see it changes on the hand. And over here. Crazy. Crazy. I did put eye primer on right now. Let's add some more tart blush because why not? What, the, what color did I use that? Berry? I'm going to go with this nudist shade in the center. And since this is pink, I'm just going to go on the hot pink above it. Oh my god. Yeah, good thing I'm not leaving the house. <laughs> oh my god, I look fucking crazy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Don't mind this half of the face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Teresa, I look like I've been in Palm Springs for the weekend. I like it. <laughs> Look like a, yeah, kind of like a nail polish bottle. Where did I put it? It is weird how it's like green, but then it, it definitely goes with the pH of you. And I said like the packaging has this cute little top to it. This shit's expensive. This was like, I think this is sold on Sephora now. It was Sephora or Ulta I saw it. I want to say this was over 30 bucks. That's why I was like, what? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? Who's paying 30 bucks for that? <laughs> Not me. Alright. So here's the little little itty bitty tart palette. I got it. No, no, it's not I just touched all that shit with my hands. So I won't. Just beauty so clean by hand, so it's. Uh, I'm gonna get these swatches off though, too. The blush. We'll try that blue mascara, too. I 
Okay, and see, that's where that blush was. So see, this is just my cellar water and it took it right off and there is no stain on my hand, which is... Because some of that stuff, it, it stains. I had one the other night when we did, we were doing swatches, probably the Norvina or something. One of them left some, you know, wicked swatch. I was like, whoa, okay. All right, I'm just going to go across the top. I don't have glasses on so I can't see shit anyway. Brow bone. Crease. Lid color. <laughs> oh, that's pretty orange. So there's your top row. Got a lot of metallics in here. Oh, I'm going this. Right on. No, oh, that's a mat. There's another metallic. I'll get that one to smooth out. There we go. Got one little mat in the middle there. And that's the second row. You can definitely go either way with this palette. Of a little on the crazy side or just keep it mellow. Especially with these pops of greens and blues. And there's enough mats in here to screw with too. That green's pretty. There. That's a good looking taupe. And the last row. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I want to see what this blue does. There's a silver, I'd say it's more of a, kind of like a topper. That blue keeps going and going. And there's a black. Yep. So that's the tart. Oh, I didn't realize this was with Sugar Rush. Sweet tart eye candy. I just posted this damn thing this morning. I think I'd remember that. Of course not. Yeah, I didn't know this was... On the mirror, it says Tart Sugar Rush. So I didn't know this was part of the Sugar Rush family. This is one of these where the inside's plastic here. So you can definitely... Because they give you a mini... Lights, camera, lashes, too. Let's see if I can... I'm about to put nails on today, too. So I'm like, ooh. Um, sometimes it is just slightly glued around the edges here. Yeah, it's glued. And then you could pop out, out this whole damn thing if you wanted to and just, you know, reuse this case to put anything you wanted into. My God, I looked up that Gucci palette that Miss G got me. Because I know it, you know, that center piece pops out. So it says it's refillable. So I'm like, even on Gucci and all these other sites going, well, where are these refills? They haven't made the refills yet. But I'm thinking, you guys did this palette, I think last year they had one too. And it's like, you still haven't come out with the refills? Because I'm just curious of just, you know, the refills would be like. Because the packaging's gorgeous. If I could just buy the refill, sure. I'm down. All right. What are we going to do here? All the fun colors are <laughs> metallic. Go with this uh, like orange shade. Thank you, Pam. Enjoy your appointment. Pyramid wearing silver eyeshadow today. Nice. Hello, Miss Patty. Sedalia. How you doing, darling? Do I have two palettes sitting over here? Of course I do. 
Let's get that over here. One tart and one with a uh, love fest. All right, so I'm gonna do the orange over here. I'm a bad girl. I still didn't wash my damn brushes. I got a hair coming in here. I was just so tired last night. I was like, dirty 10, 11 o'clock at night. Do I really want to wash, wash brushes? No. We all know we have plenty of brushes to fucking play with here. I'm just grabbing a fluffier brush to get that edge. Uh, there's a brow bone shade. Not kind of on the peachy side. I don't know why these stuck down so. Oh, what the hell's happening here? I mean, I'm a foot and a half away, and I can see that something's not blending right here. I don't use that primer that often, though, either. Well, I'm going to go with the silver because I want to be like this pyramid. Let's see if we can pick these up with a brush. Yeah, it seems to pick up with a brush. All right. And just as I can, I'm going to wet it. Still has a little wetness to it. So I'm gonna go in and grab it. I'm gonna put this prayer. I always try to give it a second to let it get in there. I gotta see what that blue can do. You know me, I just, I can't help it. Ah, uh, fuck it. I gotta see what this blue can do on, just on the lash line. Oh, she's pretty. That's a good blue. That's a good blue. Uh, what else I got over here? Some other kind of golden kind of shade here. Let's hope that picks up on this little brush. Oh, yeah. You can mix your metals. Golds and silvers and pewters and whatever feel free to have mixed metals without putting a base down of course i got it on my eye it is what it is we're just playing all right Mascara back in there. But cute little tart palette. 
I can definitely get a ton of looks out of here. You go neutral to wackadoodle. All right, let's go into Huda. I could almost do a similar look with this. <clears throat> I'm going to go into this swirly shade. I don't have any idea what shade that's going to come out. I should wipe this brush off first with the orange. I guess it's going to come out purple. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Why can't I see? Oh. Why can't I see in the mirror? <laughs> because I photographed it with that on. This is by no means a matte shade either. <laughs> Kind of is, but most people wouldn't use it as a mat. I love a nap. I took my three hour nap yesterday. The hell am I hearing outside? Ah, this little peachy shade's kind of light enough where I can. No, actually, it's not. <laughs> it's. Nope. I was wrong. It looked lighter in the pan. Yeah, I could leave it like that, but I'm just going to throw on some brulee. Just to bring it all down a little. Yeah, I, I got to. How could I not? You know, I got to go on the finger with that damn thing. We know who does formula. Is this a topper? I haven't even swatched this damn thing. There's some, look at Huda throwing in duo chromes. This has a lavender. Does it go purple to pink? It definitely goes like light lavender to pink somewhere in there. I'm like under my damn desk here. It's definitely throwing two different shades. All right. Did I have some eye base or something I needed in here? Just trying to use new stuff. Uh, I'm going to put down that Pat McGrath intensify thing just in case. was a friggin' topper. It's not. It's like a damn duochrome. I'll be able to see it more once I go outside. I got a little flakiness over here. Okay. Hey, Huda. I see you, girl. What else we got in here? <clears throat> got this darker, kind of brown orange shade. I'm going to throw that underneath. Now I'm curious about this other shade in here. <laughs> That one might just be pink. It might flip to gold. I know 
it's hard as a bitch to see down here on this. I blocked the light. It might just be pink, but that purpley one definitely has a little bit of blue to it. Hmm. Interesting. Cute palette, though. That's the love fest. Alright, we're going to use that blue mascara that I picked up yesterday. Curl the lashes. We're going to put on a lash primer. Should be right here. We'll have some blue eyelashes. Dryer still going? <laughs> Must have went off and in here. Alright, uh, this is a Dior one. It's just any white primer you got. <laughs> Did it with the mirror. How do I lose shit that's always right in front of me? <laughs> Help, Jesus. Oh, God, that's my regular. Are you working? I want to jam this damn thing in here. Oh, fuck. I think this is the primer, or this is going to be the... What the fuck does this come apart? The other one pulled out. <laughs> okay, this one unscrews. Whoopsie. This, this is going to be the tightest packed brush I think I've ever fucking seen on any mascara. What in the fuck? I, I, look at this, ladies. It is just... It's hard to see on them. This sucker is too fucking black. It's not reflective. Fucking thing in front of me is a goddamn reflective. This fucking mirror is probably reflective too. I, you can see how tight these bristles are. I, I've never seen a mascara brush that tight. I can't even tell if I'm getting it on the lashes. Here we go. Are you working or not? <laughs> Big goopy on that one. Okay, enough with the primer. Enough with the primer. That's where I would know I don't like the brush on this and pull out a disposable mascara wand and apply it with that. Now I'm seeing something in my eye again. Here we go. Uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Original Blue. <laughs> yeah, see, definitely, not, definitely having that white base helps. Definitely. Because we put this on last night over 
black mascara and I couldn't even see. I couldn't even see it when I went to take the mascara off. I haven't done that in years. You ever do that where you grab the from the top and pull up? It's a good way to coat both sides of your lashes. Rarely ever see me do mascara on the bottom lash. If I do wear mascara on the bottom lash, it's usually, I hope Nick still makes it. I either use that tight line one from It or Nick has one, which is a very, very tiny, tiny little slim brush. And it's perfect for lower lash line. I went through tubes of that back in the day. If you can see the blue eyeliner, I have no idea. Maybe. Uh, blue mascara. There you go. You can see it. Any other eyeliners I had to try out? No, no, no. I've been good on the eyeliner. I have two coming. <laughs> yeah, I didn't buy any eyeliner. Sure, I didn't. Sure, I didn't. Crazy. It took longer than it should have. I'll use the Urban Decay Chaos. Kind of goes with the day. Okay. Is, it, what the, is nothing working for me? <laughs> like, what is happening? It works on my hand, so I know it's not the liner. This chaos shade was a favorite for years. Absolute years. I'm going to try that horrible lipstick. Just to try it. I tried that brown one yesterday and was shocked out of my gourd, so I, that's looking like a concealer. I know I just saw King Cat's hand there. Too. All right, and these are on sale at a lot of places, too, these lip duos. This is Tease and Baby Roses, so I'm guessing Tease is the liner. Oh, Baby Roses is the liner. Tease is the satin lipstick. regretting this decision. <laughs> nice, Caitlin. Caitlin made an order for the Javasi makeup for 40% off. Yep, that's where I did my second order. <clears throat> I bought all the shades that were not matte and the chrome flakes. Yeah, I pretty much wiped them out too. I didn't buy the chrome flakes just because I don't use the ones I kind of have. But luckily I had my little list of shadows. And like I said, I bought 24 more with the 20 the pan that'll fit 24 so i'll have a pan of 16 and of 24. but i did swatch them first upstairs quickly so i kind of knew the formula i was like oh yeah 
I need more. I mean, she's selling dual chrome for like 10 bucks. How's that for Miss Veronica's hitting me up this morning? Hey, did you try this makeup by Mario Foundation yet? I was laughing. I said, God, I was just in store at, Col at Sephora and Kohl's. And they had it, but they didn't have the whole line. And the shades that were sitting there, I was like, no, those are not going to work. Here, let me try to get this. My lip line is darker than this pencil is. Color that bastard down. <laughs> and it's like, no, girl, I just uh, bought a Gucci foundation, but at least it was only 30 bucks. Oh, oh. just swatch for you. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready to watch my lips disappear? <laughs> oh, God. I love the lipsticks, don't get me wrong. Love the formula. But do you see why I don't do shades like this? Because, yeah. Nope. That's a big no. That's a big no. So we're going to do uh, the little cover girl one that I got yesterday that I thought was a liquid lips. It's bad. Because on the tissue, it doesn't look too bad. But on these lips, no, no, no. Just let go of my skin tone. All right, uh, Revlon Color Stay Suede Ink, new. <laughs> I picked 009 in charge. And if you missed last night's, my dumb ass thought this was one of the liquid ones where you shake the shit out of it, like the Maybelline and the Urban Decay one. And um, yeah, I was trying to twist the cap off. It's a slim tube lips. <laughs> <sighs> It is matte, though. And it's not that drying matte. That one where you, like, can't even feel it on your lips. Kitty cat. Knock it off. They have the ball busters this week. Blue! Blue! Station. Come on. Go. Fucking animals are hard headed little shits. I like put all these boxes around my goddamn nail station. Trying to deter her, she's like, oh no, I'm gonna crawl on top of that shit and I'm gonna get to that nail station. It's like, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. So that's the Revlon by itself. <laughs> There's a cover girl something here. Where'd it go? Cover girl. Where are you? Uh cover girl, clean, fresh, yummy. Lip gloss, uh two hundred. Laugh Vendor. Again, since this is way brighter than this, I'm just going to use my finger. Let me 
just tap a little on. Not that I need gloss with this, because I don't. These do smell good. These are expensive little bastards for like $14. I didn't realize that until I looked at the receipt. Okay, yeah, you can still see I'm glowing though, wherever, you know, it's that glowish. It, it's fucking glowy. And it's still tacky, which, like I said, I could take down with a little bit of powder. I don't mind a little glow, but Jesus. Little better. A little better. Yeah. Anything for me to cut that tacky feel down. I just don't like that. Alright. What are my girls up to? Ah, uh, the purple. This is the one I think is, I'm pretty sure it's duochrome. I guess it's so hard on here to see. It almost has like a blue tinge to it. And this has the slightest bit of gold. It's just catching that fucking light at the right angle and doing it slow enough. You can almost see the blue running through it. And this with a little bit of the gold action. Wild. Hi, bunny girl. I love Huda too. She has great products. Thanks, bunny. Oh, Teresa's at Cosmetics Hall just arrived. Woohoo! And Patty got her little Sephora haul. I did a little one this morning too, Patty. I, how could I pass up 20% off of shit that's already on sale? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a sturdy mascara brush. Yeah, I did mine this morning, Bunny. I only bought three things. I don't know what they didn't buy. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even pay attention anymore. I put on the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous, the blue one. And I was trying to put on the Dior white primer. I'm just going to buy an in-store primer. Come on, I should check my stash first. This one I destroyed, so this is going in empties. Uh, the, the brush is now stuck in here. It fell off the wand. <laughs> So that one's toast. But this one, this brush is just massive. This is absolutely massive. It's it's so tightly packed, bristle wise. It was like a nightmare trying to get my bristle my bristles my eyelashes through it. We're just playing with this. Just playing. Like I said, I'm gonna do, look fabulous while I'm doing laundry. <laughs> oh, when you got that Gwen Stefani lipstick trio, that was definitely a good deal. I just didn't need any more fucking reds. Exactly. Once you find a wand you like, and like I said, they sell even stuff like this at Ulta now. Little disposable mascara wands. And they'll come like a, in a pack of like 12 or something. But they'll be like four or five different styles. So you get like multiples and you go, hey, I like this brush. I hate the one that's with the mascara, so let me use, you know, this. And then you can just chuck it. It's always good to have disposables around, whether it's the brushes like that or the little, as we're all finding out, like little, well, that's a lip liner brush. So was that, <laughs> or an eyeliner brush. With the little eyeshadows. And these work well with like, we're finding out those chrome kind of flakes and 
the duo chromes, all that. They work pretty well with these of, you wouldn't know it, or the rubber spatula. I know that's one thing I bought at Ulta. I, I know I have one spatula of cruising around here somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. And they had a two pack for five bucks. So I was like, you know what? I need two more. Because I can keep one upstairs and have, stop having to run down here all the time. I don't know if I saw any Huda palettes in the Sephora side. The, the way they throw stuff in and out, and I, I can't keep up. Hey, Bunny, she remembers wearing the bright blue mascara in college, and it's still a staple. Absolutely. It was fun. Like I said, I was just waiting on a goddamn prescription, and, oh, $3 off, uh, you know, my little CVS coupon, you know, that comes out 20 feet long. So I'm $3 off uh, uh, L'Oreal mascara. And there's so many on the damn wall, my eyes just went blue. Grab the blue one. They just keep adding more and more stuff to the sale. Wait a minute. Marna, do you know anything about a booster product available from Ipsy each month for $15? I think I saw something about that. I don't want to get a fucking email. Well, maybe I didn't. I just haven't looked. <laughs> I'll have to look at that. Tammy! I do like the L'Oreal Telescopic. That's a really good one. And that's the one where I think it seemed like they brought it back. But I don't know if one says washable. So it means you can just get it off of the water. And then the other one, I'm pretty sure, said waterproof. But I'm like, like I said, the Telescopic. I've been using that for over a fucking decade. I was using that years ago. It's a great mascara. Yeah, the sale code for Sephora is extra 20 and then off. All squished together. Exactly. Oh, I didn't realize it was till January 2nd. Okay. Everybody does seem to love that Lady Gaga's foundation. That's full coverage. I bought the fucking NYX one last night. That's one thing I bought. That, uh, tinted fucking thing. I, th I think it did since it goes up to medium, though. Like, buildable to medium coverage. I'm like, okay, as long as it's not totally just, like, light coverage. I said, Because first I went on the NYX site, and they were doing 50% off. But I'm like, okay, it's not going to give you 50% off on the new stuff. So that's where I just bounced over to Ulta. Yeah, we're just going to call it a um, lavender haul. I, I, of course, I, I said, fuck the Too Faced palette. But, of course, I bought the goddamn highlighter because I'm insane. Thanks, bunny. This is a good lipstick shade. I like this one. And that's called In Charge. Like I said, there's a there's a good selection of these. Up, up to possibly 20 colors. Thank you, Teresa. Oh, thanks, Pyramid. I am not paying 13 fucking dollars for those palettes, Tammy. You want to pay for it? Pay for it. I am not paying fucking 13 dollars for those. I saw that. The cover girl has like the little fucking pans with the four colors, like Elf and Elf and the other one, uh, Hard Candy. They're like four bucks. Cover girl comes out with one four colors, 13. Fuck you, cover girl. <laughs> There's no fucking way. I showed up at $13. I don't know where the hell you're getting them for nine. Are you talking the eyeshadow palettes? And it's bad enough I paid fucking $14 for a lip gloss. I had no fucking clue that this would be like $13, so $13, $14. I'm like, yeah, it's probably like $10. Because half the time, I hate when these fucking stores don't put the price tags on shit. And then and sometimes if I'm in the mood, I'll run across and go scan the goddamn thing and go, how much is this? Yeah. I, no. I don't need, no. There's six. So there's six different palettes. Because I saw the CoverGirl ones where there was four shades. I swear to God, they were $13. I was like, hell no. Oh, I love Macy's. I got That's where I got a pair of, one pair of boots from Macy's and the other pair from Kohl's recently. And mine were literally like started at 100 bucks, And 
by the time the sale and I, I'm sure I had some Macy's fucking coupon or cash. I think I got them done like thirty, forty dollars. I like the Gwen products. She just needs more colors. I, I get she's the red girl. I get that. Yeah, I've worn this years ago. Not like it. This will be a repurchase as I haven't purchased it in years. <laughs> it was a fucking impulse buy, literally. Like I was waiting on my prescription. I don't even know what the fuck shade I bought. I think I just bought medium or medium neutral or something. I was like, let me just kind of go middle of the fucking range. And Caitlin got the nicks in the mail today. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to check out that Ipsy. I'm going to have to log in. Sounds like maybe you make your bag plus into an X on a monthly basis. But not if that makes sense. Okay, I'm kind of getting what I mean. Yeah, that, I agree, Tamik. Yeah, that infallible. That, that's a great mascara. I think they just, because I kept seeing somewhere, even Gina goes, oh, I think L'Oreal is a new mascara. I'm like, I think it's infallible. She goes, yeah, I go, not like infallible lines new. I go, I think they just made one where it's you just washed off with water, you know, soap and water, whatever. And then the other one was more on the waterproof. Yeah, see, that's where I usually use like Bad Gal Bang. If I'm not getting anywhere with a mascara, that's where I break this out. Give me a little volume, a little action. They took our Ocean State, Ocean State job lots. I had one in town here. I think it's gone. I think Mom has one in her town though. Got Ten bucks on Amazon. Oh boy, Caitlin's going to get the new Mario Foundation and the new Juvia's Place. I, I tried with the Juvia's, the original. I could not find a shade that matched me. It, it's just, I tried and I tried and I tried. I went in store, swatching. I couldn't get a shade that would fucking come close. I was just like, I gave up. I finally had to give up. I was getting sick of swatching and returning shit. <laughs> I'm going, I can't get any of these to match. Even mixing them. I had like five, probably five fucking tubes at one point. And I'm like, well, if I mix this and this, I, I gave up. I gave up. Okay, Bunny found the Ipsy thing. Score an exclusive premium item for $15 per month. Yeah, I'll pass on that too. I pay these fuckers enough. And granted, they send me you know, the little glam bag and the glam bag plus, but I'm still buying all three fucking boxies plus I Ipsy glam bag plus plus glam bag X whenever the fuck that comes around. Oh, definitely Patty. Yeah. At um, Ocean State, she's found milk makeup, Physicians Formula, CoverGirl, Alme, Wet n Wild, Maybelline, all of them. And don't forget, everybody, now we're going to end up with New Year sales, that shit's going to start hitting. And I give it, I'm going to take a wild guess of up to two months. And we'll start seeing all that shit in either Boxy, Ipsy, or fucking TJ Maxx and all them. Because me, it seems like now these companies are throwing everything to Boxy and to TJ Maxx. I mean, even when Boxy, whenever I saw like Shantakai in there, I mean, granted it was like a little blush, but I was like, what? And then like Natasha, and then Natasha was doing palettes specifically, you know, where it said exclusive to Boxy. I'm like, what? What the hell is this? <laughs> okay, Ipsy's thing is called Monthly Beauty Boost. Upgrade 15 bucks. It shows brands. Fenty, Dr Drunk Elephant, Pat McGrath, Kate Somerville. They already have Kate Somerville. If I get one more fucking goat milk moisturizer, I'm going to fucking crack and just go buy a goddamn goat. <laughs> As Greg comes running over the other day with the phone of, oh my God, this woman had two miniature cows. They're the size of a dog. And here's Greg watching these two fucking cows run around. He's looking at me, I'm like, no, no, 
no, no, I am not chasing fucking miniature cows around. I'm like, how the fuck did you make a miniature cow? I'm like, talk about some genetically engineered fucking stuff. I'm like, oh, he goes, oh, so they just kept breeding them with smaller and smaller. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. genetically modified. Were they cute? Yes. Do I want two miniature cows? No. Ocean State job lots, like a, um, kind of like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls kind of thing. It's their own gig. They have everything. It's, a, you know, everything's more reasonably priced. I mean, mine had clothes, outdoor, you know, stuff, whether it's patio furniture, all your gardening equipment, um, some pet items, household items, like gift cards, or not gift cards. Um, birthday cards, all that crap in the bags and uh, just random shit. Some of the stores were nicer than others, keeping them, you know, clean and organized. And then some look like, you know, typical, like a dump truck just opened up the ceiling and dumped the shit all over the floor. <laughs> you never know. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Ipsy Choices Monday. I think I was on Boxy and it said the ninth for choice or something. Yeah, it's like a big lot. Yeah, it's kind of a mix of everything. Yeah, pool covers, every yeah, all kinds of foreign foods, coffees, teas, all kinds of crap. But the stuff is more, you know, reasonably priced. That's where you can get like, you know, cookies from Europe and stuff like that. Of but I find all that fun stuff at my Asian grocery store. Like I said, I don't know half the shit I buy. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it, it looks good. And usually once I eat it, fuck, it is good. I mean, I bought popsicles recently. I don't know. I saw popsicles and I was like, yeah, what the fuck? And you don't have to actually put them in the freezer. According to the what I could figure out from the directions, you could just drink the shit out of the tube. I don't, I still don't understand how any Japanese or, it definitely seems to be the Japanese side of candy or treats that I buy tastes so much better than anything we get here. And then I'll laugh sometimes. I'll like Google the name and it'll be like, oh, this is made in Cleveland. It's like, what? <laughs> it's made in fucking Cleveland. <laughs> Why don't we have this candy? And I... Like their stuff tastes like it should. Half of our American crap is just tastes like fucking chemicals. It's so weird. Oh, definitely, Bunny. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross. They're going to be fun hunting January, February. Even up till, you know, because it, it depends how long it takes that stuff to get in there. I love TJ Maxx, too. Oh, God, the fucking phone's dying. No, I didn't even have it fully charged. I didn't plan on being out here over an hour, either. I, I think I looked at the Ipsy spoilers. Didn't it say something about Tart and... Possibly Fenty, and I never know what the hell's in there. And here's me doing Ulta orders at well, midnight last night. <laughs> it's a four order this morning. Oh my god. But I know my Javisi Beauty is going to be here either the 29th, which will probably be tomorrow, or the 30th. So it all depends on my fucking mail guy. Actually, I gotta run down and see if I got mail from yesterday. See, it's she, even Patty. She loves Smarties from overseas. They taste better than Ebenham's, and their chocolate is so good. I don't get it. Cause I've been on Amazon. And I'll just go like, give me like the mystery. It'll be either Japanese or say Asian candy mix thing, where it's just a mix of whatever. You don't know what the fuck you're gonna get. And even looking at the packaging, you're like, I guess it's going to taste like something. Sometimes you can find something on there. And I just rip it open and fucking try it. And I'm usually like, damn, this is good. Wish I could find more of these. But then I keep the wrapper if I really like it. Then I go ahead and I can go back on Amazon and punch in that exact one. Sephora's doing 20, an extra 20% off the sale section. So anything in the sale section, but I think if you buy Sephora brand, I think that gives you 30% again, if I'm right. But definitely anything that's in this for sale section and they keep throwing stuff in is another 20% off. So you're already getting the sale price. 
minus another 20%. Fuckers, though. Of course I have. I'm like, you bastards. Maybe I just will buy that fucking foundation if I can find a shade. I have $10 in Sephora money that's going to expire on January 5th. So that's where I was like, oh, let me do this order. Oh, cool. I'll take another $10 off. Typical. As soon as you go, like, apply my $10. Oh, no. You can't do this along with the 20%. Okay. Go to check out. And I have thousands of points. Do I have like 2,000 points sitting there? I go, sure. I'll take $10 off with the 500 points. Wouldn't let me do that either. I was like, you fuckers. So, yeah, maybe I'll go back. Check out the Mario Foundation. <laughs> and then straight up, I could put the 500 points, take 10 off, and use my $10. <coughs> so even if his foundation's 40 something dollars, which I'm sure it is, I'll get it for 20. Yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs and do that. I have no idea if the Haichu is Korean. Yeah, you always got to check that cell section. And sometimes even if you do the, uh, like, new releases or, you know, high to low and all this, sometimes if I put, like, new to there, the new stuff still doesn't end up at the top. Okay, there is no extra on Sephora brand. Thank you, Bunny. I thought I saw something about that maybe there was an extra. I do. I chew as Japanese. Oh, Fairman took it out. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, Teresa, if it's any good. Who knows? But even my girlfriend Veronica was asking me this morning, like, did you get this one yet? And I did. I saw it in Sephora yesterday when I was there. Well, I was at Kohl's getting a gift card, but we have Sephora in there. And they had the Makeup by Mario display, but there was only about six shades. <laughs> and the display was huge. And there was just all these empty spots and even the whole back part where you would grab the actual shade was basically empty they were probably in the middle of stocking or whatever the hell they were doing Teresa wants to try the merit stick foundation i do have that little blush of theirs so that was nice yeah if i can yeah, maybe i'll do it depends i gotta, gotta see what those shades are if i can see a shade that hopefully matches me because none of them in the fucking store yesterday would have matched. I can just tell by looking at them. And again, I think it's in a frosted bottle, which I fucking hate. Because the frosted bottle does throw off the shade. So you, you even in store, you can't just, I can't just look at the fucking bottles. I'd have to pump it out to see what the hell it is. Pain in the ass. The one candies I like, they're, you might even have them in your grocery store because they're actually in my grocery store now. Um, I got something panda. Something about a little panda. And it has a panda on the box. And they're little like crackers. And they'll either be filled with chocolate or strawberry or vanilla. And I think they have multiple flavors. I think they have caramel. I think I have those upstairs. And usually the mine the mine well, I have come in like little individual packs. Which is perfect because they're just cute little back of you know, little nibbles. Got the pop. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Well, phone's dying. I gotta switch the laundry. This is uh some tart, some Huda, some more Huda, L'Oreal, CoverGirl, Revlon. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with this ABH. Maybe mom will want it. I'll see how it looks on her first. A little tart action. Yeah, a little bit of the new stuff. Had some fun. But yep, don't worry about, like, if you buy these crazy blushes from Huda, it looks scary. It's not scary. It blends right out. It blends right out. All right. There you go, loves. This was day 28 of 31. My God, we're almost done. I'm, like, on a roll. I might as well keep going at this rate. Oh, if I blow my carry. Yeah, try those panda cookies. They're really good. Oh, I just have my hair up and that big ass. 
Remember the one we were laughing about for Bipsy? The big ass hair clip? <laughs> I'm still technically in PJs over here. <laughs> Just covered in cat hair, dog hair. Thank you, girl. But I do have two different looks on. Miss Pyramid had said she had silver eyeshadow on, so I wanted to try the silver out of the Tarte palette. And this is the little hoot action. I look good for myself today, because like I said, Greg, I sent him off snowmobiling, so it's like, woohoo, I got the house to myself. <laughs> Ladies, have a lovely afternoon. Yes, yeah, keep going. <laughs> Y'all think this is easy coming on live every day? It is fun, though. <laughs> But I got laundry to do. I got to keep that shit rolling <laughs> because I'm only on load number three. And I could probably do at least one, two, four more. So laundry day. At least it'll be done. It's just one of those things. I want it done because I'm getting my massage on Friday. I don't plan on doing shit on Saturday, but shooting the shit with you that night. <laughs> Mwah! Bye, Sedalia. Bunny, Teresa, Patty, ladies, have a fabulous day. And I will see you tomorrow because <laughs> i'm actually gonna go to work again <laughs> all right love y'all see y'all soon Ooh, wait, 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 wait. bunny's laughing no laughing at me bunny <laughs>